Hi everybody and welcome back to TMD Toy Review. Today we're going to read a book called The Peanut Free Cafe by Gloria Coster, illustrated by Marianne Coca Leafler. Of all the foods in the world, Simon ate just four. Bagels, green grapes, purple lollipops, and his favorite, peanut butter. Simon ate peanut butter every day for lunch. So did Zoe, Gerard, Jacqueline, and Paul. Peanut butter was the most popular food at Nutley School. For Simon, peanut butter was essential. See, that's Simon. That's his sandwich, his peanut butter sandwich. That's his favorite peanut butter. It's called So Good Peanut Butter. And that's his lunchbox. He's sitting at the table. He has his green grapes and his lollipop. And he's ready to go. One Friday, precisely at noon, a new student arrived at the main office. His name was Grant. Let's go meet some new friends, suggested Principal Filbert. She whisked Grant and his mother down the corridor and into the lunchroom, where the children had, been be had begun to eat their peanut butter lunches. There's the principal. There's Grant's mother, and there's Grant, the new student. They're get heading into the lunchroom where all of the kids are eating their peanut butter sandwiches. Simon adored lunch. Every day his lunch was reliably the same. Peanut butter on a bagel, a bunch of green grapes, and for dessert, a purple lollipop. Parting with even a tiny bit of his meal was hard, but Simon remembered his manners. He tore off a piece of his sandwich. Want some, he offered. No, thank you, Grant replied. Have you eaten already? inquired Principal Filbert. No, Grant whispered. That's Grant, looking rather nervous. That's his mother and his, the principal. There's Simon offering him a piece of his sandwich. His peanut butter sandwich. And there are the other students eating their food too. Sit down, Simon urged. But Grant just shook his head. The new boy's mother gently drew her son from the lunchroom table as though it was a dangerous place. Such polite children, she declared, but I see you all enjoy peanut butter. I'm afraid that Grant can't sit with you. It's because of my peanut butter allergy, Grant explained. He reached into his backpack and pulled out something that looked like a fat pen. Cool, said Simon. What's that? It's my medicine, explained Grant. It looks like a pen, but really it's a shot. A shot? Simon was afraid of shots. Why do you have to have your own shot? Because if I eat just one peanut butter or anything made with peanut butter oil, I can't breathe. I have to take my medicine right away. Grant placed his hand on his neck and pretended that he was choking. Simon looked on in horror. At my last school, Grant continued, nobody ever ate peanut butter. Peanut butter was not allowed. That's Grant, pretending he's choking, demonstrating how he feels when he eats a peanut, any kind of peanut product that he's allergic to. There's Simon and all the rest of the kids. Peanut butter not allowed. The cafeteria fell silent. 
Up and down the long lunchroom tables, the children of Nutley School gasped. Simon was shocked. He had no idea that his favorite food could make someone so sick. He felt sorry for Grant, and even sorrier for himself. What if peanut butter were no longer permitted at Nutley School? There's the principal, Grant's mother, Grant, there's Simon, and horrified that he's allergic to, that Grant is allergic to peanuts and peanut products. He didn't know that you could be allergic to peanuts. That afternoon, Miss Filbert paced back and forth in her office. Should I forbid peanut butter at Nutley School, she wondered. That would make our school a safe place for Grant. But then the principal imagined the children of Nutley School going hungry day after day. At 3 o'clock, a flyer went home in every student's backpack. It said that on Monday, there would be a peanut-free lunch table at Nutley School. Any children with a peanut-free lunch could sit there. That's the principal. Thinking about her plans and pacing the room and those are the students that she's thinking about on Monday morning Miss Allman made Simon and Grant buddies Grant was a whiz with numbers and the boys finished their math before everyone else when they discovered they were both fans of the dirt bike R rodents they decided to write a story together we can finish it at lunch Simon suggested but at lunch his new friend sat at the peanut free table alone Grant chewed his tuna salad sandwich he swallowed his apple juice across the room his classmates laughed and talked see Grant sitting all by himself eating a tuna fish sandwich and drinking his apple juice. There's his lunchbox. This will never do, declared Principal Filbert. Boys and girls, we must think of a way to convince some children to join Grant at the peanut free table. I could skip peanut butter tomorrow, suggested Zoe. Me too, Gerard offered. Grant is a really cool kid, said Simon, but most kids at Nutley School don't know him. If the peanut free table was a fun place, they might come. Then they'd get to know Grant better. Now there is a brilliant thought, agreed Principal Filbert, and at three o'clock and, and at three o'clock a new flyer went home in every student's backpack. There's the new flyer. And it says announcing the grand opening of the Nutley Peanut Free Cafe. Snacks, arts and crafts, and entertainment. Admission, a peanut free lunch. That's a great idea, isn't it, y'all? Miss Principal Filbert is a great principal. On Tuesday, the Peanut Free Cafe was open for business with baskets of popcorn paper tablecloths, and crayons for doodling, just like a real restaurant. The Peanut Free Cafe had customers. Many Nutley students were ready to try something new, but not Simon. Even though it was his idea, Simon was definitely not ready. As he and his friends walked into the lunchroom, the cafe lights dimmed. Hey, what's going on, Simon demanded. Movie time, responded a parent volunteer. Dirt bike rodents. In the Desert of Doom is about to begin in the Peanut Free Cinema. Desert of Doom, Simon exclaimed. That's my favorite. He strutted across the room, his peanut butter lunch in hand. Zoe, Jacqueline, Gerard, and Paul followed. 
Not so fast, warned Miss Hazel, the lunch lady. Before you enter the cafe, I must inspect your lunch. There's Miss Hazel stopping them from entering the cafe so that she can check to make sure they don't have peanut butter sandwiches or anything that made with peanuts in their lunch bags. So they're going to be checked out. Okay, Zoe's lunch was yogurt and berries. Gerard had brought turkey and Swiss on a roll. Welcome to the Peanut Free Cafe, cooed Miss, Mrs. Hazel. Jacqueline got the okay too. Cream cheese and jelly had replaced her daily PB&J. Only Simon and Paul were turned away. No big deal, Paul reasoned. We can see the second part of the movie tomorrow. And tomorrow's pizza day. I don't eat pizza, mumbled Simon. Then bring something else, suggested Paul. Maybe fruit salad or soup. How about meatloaf? Simon did not eat any of those things. Of all the foods in the world, Simon ate just four. And for lunch, he needed to eat peanut butter. There's Paul and Simon being turned away by Mrs. Hazel. There's Grant and all his new friends at the table eating and having a great time in the Peanut Free Cafe. On Wednesday, Paul ate pizza. He was allowed to enter the Peanut Free Cafe. Can't you at least try pizza, Paul asked Simon. Please, called out Gerard. You're missing such a great movie. Come on, Zoe. At Come on, Zoe added. We saved your place at our table. But Simon sat by himself at the old table. He gazed longingly at the fun place that had been his very own clever idea. There's Simon sitting all alone with his peanut butter and sandwich. Looking longingly into the peanut butter... Peanut Free Cafe, where all his friends are now, waiting for him. Thursday was a tough day. For the first time, Simon's peanut butter seemed tasteless. At dinner, Simon had no appetite. He went to bed early and tossed and turned. The next morning, he marched into the kitchen. Today, he proclaimed, I am not going to bring peanut butter to school. Please make me something different, anything at all. Simon's mother had been hoping for the day that Simon would try a brand new food, but she had not gone to the supermarket all week. When she opened the refrigerator, all she could find was a pot of Texas Tilly's Tin Bing Chili. She scooped some chili into a plastic container for Simon's lunch. There's Simon's mom making the chili lunch for Simon. There's Simon peeking around the corner. On Friday, Simon finally joined Grant, Zoe, Gerard, Paul, and Jacqueline. The friends sat together in the Peanut Free Cafe. They laughed and talked. Dirt bike rodents in the Amazon rainforest was about to begin. There they are, all having fun at the table. Of all the foods in all the world, Simon now eats five. Every day, he, his school lunch is reliably the same. Half a bagel, a container of Texas Tilly's, 10 bean chili, a bunch of green grapes, and for dessert, a purple lollipop. But after school and on the weekends, Simon eats peanut butter. He likes to twist his finger around the edge of the jar for a taste of the food that he still enjoys the most. For Simon, peanut butter is essential. That's it, Simon, eating his peanut butter with his finger. 
Right out of the jar. Does your mommy and daddy let you eat out of the jar of your peanut butter? <laughs> like Simon? The end. That was the end of the Peanut Free Cafe. This book is by Gloria Coaster. That's K-O-S-T-E-R. That's her last name. And it's illustrated by Marianne Coca Leafler. That's Marianne C-O-C-C-A dash L-E-F-F-L-E-R. And I hope you enjoyed this book today. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.